We are learning more about a deadly house fire in Lancaster that claimed the life of a three-year-old girl and sent a five-year-old boy to the hospital. Good evening and thank you for joining us for NBC 411. I'm Carrie Charles. I'm Colleen Marshall. Tonight, authorities say a 55-year-old man, a 54-year-old woman, and a second three-year-old girl escaped the house unharmed. NBC 4's Kyle Beachy has been speaking with neighbors and shares what he learned. All that's left of this home on Pierce Avenue is charred wood and ashes. Earlier tonight, a rainbow shone above the house where that little girl was pulled out by a courageous firefighter, but she was already gone. Firefighter arrived, uh, heavy fire conditions and an, uh, an adult male victim in the front yard. And they were told there were two more people trapped inside. One of those trapped inside was that three year old girl. She was pronounced dead at the scene. One adult man was rushed to OSU. Three others escaped uninjured, but surely scarred. The whole neighborhood watched as the house burned and a mother comforted her two boys who made it out. She had a baby in diapers uh, running with you and she had another little feller by the hand running with him and they was covered in ashes and soot. And um, that's when my heart just dropped. I said, well, thank God, you know, that she got out with them. Then word spread. I heard that maybe there was a child that didn't make it, you know, but which I didn't know for sure. And I was praying to God that, you know, that wasn't the fact. Lancaster Fire Department got the call just after three. It's the type of call that we all know can happen, but we all in the back of our mind never wanted it to happen to us. Assistant Chief Slade Schultz sent home the firefighters first on the scene after a long, emotional day. They know that they did everything that they could to, to save that little girl. Um, they're going to take it pretty hard. Two dogs were also killed in the blaze. Schultz said this home had zero working smoke alarms. Hopefully we can help educate the community and, and educate those so we can hopefully prevent something like this from happening ever again. What started this deadly fire is still under investigation by the Lancaster Fire Department and the state fire marshal has also been notified. Local for you in Lancaster, I'm Kyle Beachy, NBC4.